Hey, it's Doug Childs, ClashDaily.com, Purple Heart Adventures. Good Lord, man, we got Josh Revac. This guy is phenomenal. He's been a good buddy of mine for about three years now. Josh, name, rank, serial number, and uh, you obviously have a Purple Heart, right? Now, I like it, but it's the Purple Heart that got you here. Right. And, I wanna, and we want to honor that. We want to treat you guys to a Wango Tango Fun Festival. But tell people uh, your age, uh, where you served, what happened to you, and uh, then we'll take it from there. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Josh Revac. I, I'm 32 now. I served in Iraq for just under two years total, two deployments uh, with 1st Armored Division Army. I was a tanker on M1 Abrams' main battle tanks. And uh, during my second deployment in Ramadi, Iraq, we, uh, we came under mortar fire and ultimately uh, mortar landed uh, right on the other side of my Humvee as we were dismounted. Um, we were just getting back into the vehicle and I was reaching for the driver's door handle and uh, my body, the gunner, was getting up on top of the vehicle and it landed on the other side and popped and, and uh, it, it hit me in the, in the ankles. The Humvee saved my life and uh, killed, my, killed my body. He was exposed from, from top. So spent some time in the hospital, went back to Germany and, and uh, was released from the military. So here I am. What's your buddy's name? Uh, his name was Terry Lisk mm. from Chicago, just south of Chicago. Yeah. I mean, as a, what, you're at that time, what, 26? Yeah, 20 and 26. Yeah. yeah, 26 years old. Buddy dies. Your ankles are, are washed out, you know, getting blown up and stuff. I mean, as, as a young person, you start getting bitter, you start thinking, uh, why did God allow this to happen to me? Why did it happen to Terry? Uh, how do you feel that kind of uh, hand? Well, God didn't put a gun to my head and force me to join the military. I, I joined, I mean, September 11th happened and I was in basic training by January. I mean, I wanted to go fight and kind of knew what the what the danger of that was, but I wouldn't take any of it back. I mean, I'm not bitter. Is Terry the same way? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He was. He also joined after 9/11. So what? What? Um, find interesting and strange is you know a lot of these cats um, join the military to get to get uh, their college paid for, and then all of a sudden you know war goes down. They're like, I didn't want this, but you and Terry were like, this is what we signed up for. Uh, we understand you know what could occur. And, uh, and you embraced it. And so just dealing with the fallout of your injuries, your buddy's death, and you know Shane Woods' death, several other guys that you're super close to. I mean, from a, from a maturity standpoint, being a 26 year old, what got you through that kind of bullshit? Faith, I mean, um, I, I wasn't so afraid of death because I believed that, that uh, you know, that's the kind of the point. That's the end game anyways. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of the goal. So I wasn't, I wasn't as afraid, you know, so it didn't, it didn't shake me. But you see, in combat arms, you don't get a whole lot of guys. You know, you do have a few, but you don't get a whole lot of guys that just are joining for college. They generally don't be like, you know, I want to be an infantry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so most of the guys there wanted to rock and roll. Um, but yeah, I mean, faith, I... I I just, uh, you know, that, that kind of kept me going. I tried to sort of spread that a little bit as much as I could. Yeah. So when, you, so when you're in the hospital getting healed up from, you know, these massive injuries, you know, to your physical body and then, you know, the, the emotional stuff with, you know, just losing, you know, one buddy, several buddies. Um, when you say faith got you through it, I mean, is it? like blind faith or did you go to the scripture and and start mining you know some of the promises that are in there i mean what did you latch hold of because i mean that's well, yeah that's exactly it you know i i uh the scripture you know i guess i thought about the wars of the old testament they were pretty gnarly i mean it wasn't about living it yeah. wasn't the that wasn't the ultimate goal was to hold on to life with every you know, bit of your being, you know, yeah. uh, there was a bigger, a bigger cause 
you know, so I, I kind of just believe that if I die, you know, I die. Did you hear that young person, bigger cause? There's some things uh, uh, worth dying for, and uh, what did uh, Braveheart say? It's true that uh, all men die, but not all men live. Right, exactly. All right, all right, last question. When you suck your last breath of oxygen into your warrior lungs, and you take the audio snooze, the eternal siesta, what do you want people to write up about you? He voted Republican. <laughs> you heard it right here, man. Josh Revac, tanker. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Good stuff. Hey, it's Doug Child's class daily. Mike Tamron is down. Mama, what my name is? <laughs> <laughs>